So my name is JoLynn Van Steenwijk and my husband's name was Don Van Steenwijk. Um, I usually go by Joe because no one could ever pronounce Joe Lynn, so all my life it's been Joe. And we uh, got to be known as Don and Joe throughout our relationship. Don and I started dating when I was a sophomore in high school and Don was a senior. We were married about four years later. And in June of, that, uh, in June of this year, it would have been our 45th wedding anniversary. We were blessed with two daughters who gave us two wonderful son-in-laws and six grandchildren. To tell the rest of the story, I need to tell you a little bit about Don. He was an industrial arts teacher. He was a building trades teacher. Don was a guy that would talk to anyone. He was just the guy that everybody enjoyed being around and especially he, he, enjoyed, he was a great grandpa. He loved his silly games with his grandchildren. On May 23 of 2014, our faith was put to the test. Don had been struggling with a cough for several months that they thought was pneumonia. So Don had gone back to the doctor for more tests and at nine o'clock that night, we had a knock on our door and it was Don's doctor. He wanted to deliver the news in person and they discovered that it was something more serious than pneumonia and we began Don's journey. Two weeks later, it was confirmed that he had stage four lung cancer and this had spread to his lymph nodes and to his bones. Of course, at this point, we were told there was no cure and it was all about quality and quantity of life. So the decision was now, do we do chemo or not? And after much prayer, Don decided he was going to choose to live with cancer rather than choosing to die from cancer. And so the treatments began. He looked at me with a little twinkle in his eye and he says, just telling you, Joe, you better keep buying green bananas. And I looked at him with kind of a puzzled look and he goes, yeah, I'm telling you, you better keep buying green bananas because I have every intention to be here to eat them when they get ripe. And we laughed and we found joy in our tears. To help out with communication to family and friends, um, we set up a carrying bridge site, called it Green Bananas. And after we did that, Don decided that that was going to be his time that he was going to be able to reflect on what had gone on, what had happened, and what his thoughts were in his life. After his second treatment, he wrote, I'd like to report that my golf game has improved since I began living with cancer. Please don't take this as an endorsement of how to improve your game for all you desperate golfers out there. I think the real reason is that I have an in increased sense of what is important. When golfing, I keep my head down and my eyes on the ball. The rest of the time, I'm keeping my head up and with my eyes on the Lord. On March 2 of 2016, he wrote, my battle with, battle with cancer continues to be a blessing to me in many ways. Maybe it's just made me more fully aware of, of all the blessings that were there for me all the time. I know what I have is serious, but I have been spared the daily struggle that many others have for a variety of reasons. Instead of sickness, I'm given silliness. Instead of pain, I'm given peace. Instead of hopelessness, I'm given heaven. Instead of fear, I'm given family and friends. As a child, I had to learn a verse for a Christmas program, Romans 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. I know that as a child, the idea of a free gift sounded pretty good to me. Now as a child of God, with a deeper understanding of that gift, it sounds even better. God is good. On December 12 of 2016, after two and a half years of continuous chemo treatments, Don's PET scans showed the treatments were not working and the cancer had progressed and there were no more treatment options available and hospice was our next step. So the, the decision to call hospice was made very clear because he needed to have oxygen and that was the one way that we could get it. On January 5th, after a shower, morning shower, Don told me, I just need to rest a bit longer. And he went back to bed. He rarely went back to bed. We spent the next day with many visitors saying final goodbyes and on January 7, Don took his final earthly breath with all of us by his side. Yes, there was sadness, but a great peace, knowing he was in his eternal home free from cancer. After this two and a half year journey, Pastor Russell asked me to reflect on what does Easter mean to me? I'm filled with joy, hope, and new life because I know that Easter is the promise from God. He sent his only son, the ultimate sacrifice, to go on the cross so that we can have eternal life with our resurrected Lord Jesus Christ. Knowing we have the assurance that Jesus rose from the dead and came out of his grave, that gives us the assurance to know that we will be able to spend that our time with Jesus and that someday we will all be together as, as a family with Christ and with our Lord. 
I'm at peace and I have continued joy because I know that our resurrected Savior, Jesus Christ, was waiting with open arms to embrace Don, saying, well done, good and faithful servant. And I have the joy to know that promise is waiting for me as well.